Hello, my name is Lacey. I'm the Chief Teaching Unicorn at Rebel Unicorn Crafts, and today I'm going to be testing Daler Rowney FW Acrylic Artist inks. These inks come in little glass bottles with a dropper, and they come in a variety of colors. I have them in white, yellow, green, two different blues, a black, an indigo, and a purple. My setup today, I'm going to have my inks, and then I have this canvas pad, and I'm going to have my glass palette as well as some water and paint brushes. The canvas pad is basically like little sheets of paper, but instead they're canvases. They're really pliable, and they're textured just like canvases. These inks can be used in a variety of ways. You can put them in a pen, you can use them with a paintbrush, you can draw with them on paper or canvas. Basically how you could, would use normal ink or paint. So they kind of, I guess, go across different barriers here. So let's just test all of the different colors. I'll start this by dipping in directly to the ink and putting that directly on the canvas pad and then I'll add a little bit of water at a time to thin it out to show how you can kind of change the opacity of it. I'll go ahead and test each one of these colors so you can see what they look like on the pad. You can also mix these colors, so if, if I mix yellow and red together, I get a nice orange color that can be used in the same way. And you can mix these kind of in real time, so you could put one color down and add another color and continue adding different colors to kind of create different effects while you're in the process of painting. The white is a little bit more opaque than the other colors, although not obviously when you add it directly to the canvas pad. You can also build these colors, just adding different layers once they're dry. You do have to wait for them to dry or it just moves the previous layer around. We'll take a closer look and see. They remind me a lot of watercolors, but not. It's, it's, it is different. So you can use these on their own, just with water, or you can use them with different mediums. I'm going to go ahead and paint in one color. This is just the straight acrylic ink, and then I'm going to add a little craft paint as well as some artist acrylic onto my pad, and we're going to mix them together. So you can use them in addition since it's the same basic pigments and binders that are in acrylic paints. So across the top, the left is the artist acrylic, the middle is the craft paint, which is a little thinner type paint, and on the right is the artist acrylic, which is a little thicker. These are standalone, so it's just acrylic ink, just craft paint, and just artist acrylic, and I'm going to then mix in some of the ink to add to those two mediums to see how it affects them. 
that's typically how I use these in order to enhance a painting. It thins down the paint I'm using as well as it ups the pigment a little bit. You'll notice that it has darkened both of these as well as the paint should be a little bit easier to move around the canvas. This is a personal preference. I personally like a little looser paint. And now I'm going to test an actual medium. So this is a gloss medium. All it is is it's an acrylic binder that dries glossy and when I mix in that acrylic ink with it, it pigments the medium so the medium is going to be a translucent it looks white now but it dries clear and you'll see that it does thin down the ink but it still transfers it onto the canvas pad you can also do this with whites so here it is with some acrylic art white and you get kind of this nice almost it looks more matte it looks like something you'd put on a wall and it has more coverage if you mix with a straight art acrylic paint versus using a medium because there's a baseline pigment there. Just taking a closer look at each of these, here's the ink on its own, the craft paint on its own, and the art acrylic on its own. You'll notice how many more brush strokes are in the art, art acrylic and that's because it's just a thicker medium. So that's how it tests, but how does it actually work? I'm gonna give you a few glimpses in and I'm gonna go ahead and create a piece of artwork that primarily uses these art inks in order to actually make a painting. And here is the finished product. I did embellish a little bit more with some silver leaf. If you have uh, any interest in me doing a video on how to apply silver leaf to a painting, let me know. I just, I couldn't resist when I had finished the painting. 
If you have any questions about acrylic artist inks, let me know down below. I'll do my best to answer them. This is the only set that I have and I've only been using them for probably about six months now. Have you used them before? Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you're local to Northern Colorado and would like to take a class, visit rebelunicorncrafts.com to see my class listings. If you'd just like to see what I'm up to, visit my Instagram at rebelunicorncrafts. Or if you'd like to see my art, you can visit my other Instagram at lacywalkerart. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a magically creative day.